LHR graphics cards, also known as light hash rate cards, limit the possibility when you are mining on the ET hash algorithm and it won't allow you to mine at 100% of the graphics card's performance. Today on that Teco Guy, I'm going to be exploring the possibility that you can get back up to 70% of that performance. Stay tuned. Okay, so a great development that just came out a few days ago is with NB Miner. So with NB Miner, as you can see on my screen now, they are featuring a new LHR mode for ETH mining, which is ET hash mining, on the RTX 30 series cards, which are the RTX series LHR GPUs. So with this mode, you can actually get back up to 70% of the performance of the actual card. So for example, if you have an RTX 3080 card, which can do around 95 mega hash to 100 mega hash, you can actually get back around 70% of that performance, meaning that you'll be able to achieve a 70 mega hash per second hash rate when mining on the ET hash algorithm. Now on the ET hash algorithm, what happens normally on a normal card, you would normally mine at the full potential of the card, which is the 100 mega hash. I've even gotten uh, 104 mega hash on the pallet RTX 3080 and basically that gave me 104 mega hash when I did overclock it. You can check out the video for that in the description below or in the link above. Now the difference is that with the LHR cards you would get a limited hash rate when ET hash is detected. So once you start mining on the ET hash algorithm that hash rate will quickly start dropping to around 50% of the potential of the card. With this version of NB Miner that you can see on the screen here, you can actually get up to 70% of that hash rate back. So the way you would do this is that you would, in the script, define the parameter dash LHR and set a value behind that. The value which is going to be the set target percentage that you want to try to achieve. Here it's saying that 68 is a stable tested on most configurations that you can try out. So if you would do dash LHR space 68, that would target 68% of the model that you're using. So if you're using an RTX 3080, which is expected to normally get, let's make it simple, around 100 mega hash, then in this case, you would get 68 mega hash if this is going to be successful. Obviously, if you try and go above 70%, that might not be stable and you might actually still hit the lock and it will actually limit the card down again. Now, I can't actually test this out myself because I don't have an LHR card, but what I do recommend is that if you do have an LHR card, do not mix it with the non-LHR cards. Otherwise, you would have to do further configurations. You would have to tell the rig to use, for example, NB Miner on GPU 1. And for the rest of the non-LHR cards, you would have to tell NB Miner to use the rest, okay? Because you, if you're going to start mixing the cards, then you're going to have an issue where you will have to do separate scripts and separate configurations. So I would try and put the LHR cards on one system if you can and the non-LHR cards on another system. Separate them from each other so you won't run into potential issues when it comes to that. I will be trying to get my hands on one of these LHR cards and I'll be trying to test this out. There is a note here that on NVIDIA driver version 471.11 there are issues and you won't be able to unlock it with that version. So you'll have to use a previous driver version for this to work as well. So guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to point out that MB Miner version 39 can give you the potential to get back up to 70% hash rate on an LHR RTX 30 series card. If you do have one of those cards and you can test it out and let us know down in the comments below if it does work with this version of MB Miner, then please do so. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell for more great techo videos when they come out on my channel. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves guys and thanks for watching.